I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Good morning. Today's pep talk, I want to talk about not overparenting your kids. What's overparenting? Well, to me, it's doing too much or doing for your kids what they can do for themselves. And this came to my mind because I was I took a 3-year-old and his mom to the fair with me the other day and we had so much fun. It was really fun for me to be with be with a kid, but one of the things that I noticed is like mom was doing a lot and he's a three-year-old. So three-year-olds need to do it by themselves. They're into learning what they're powerful over and what they have control over. And they do need limits and they do need boundaries. But if you can give them the power in the areas that they're both capable of and need to have responsibility, you'll tend to fight with them much less. And what I noticed was, you know, she was zipping up his jacket, putting his jackets on, zipping them up, putting his hat on. And wasn't really asking him or, um, you know, empowering him with our, you know, if one of the things that I noticed is with my kids, when they got cold, they wanted their jackets on. And if I monitored them in terms of what my comfort level was, their comfort level is totally different than mine. So I get cold way quicker than they do. And I don't think that we need to gauge it by whether we're cold or not it's are they cold because some kids run hot some kids run cold and if you can empower them with you know deciding they tend to do a lot better and I just think if you can see your child every time that you're going to do something for him say could this could he do it for himself look Bumble knows you're exhausted by dating all the must not take yourself too seriously and 6-1 since that matters and What do I even say other than, hey? (sighs) Well, that's why they're introducing an all-new Bumble. With exciting features to make compatibility easier, starting the chat better, and dating safer. They've changed, so you don't have to. Download the new Bumble now. And with this little guy, he was getting really frustrated because she kept bundling him up, and I I could see he was getting hot. He was running up and down the bleachers and kind of climbing on the side of the the ring there and he was he was warm I mean he didn't he didn't need all those layers on and it was really cute because he really respects his mom I mean she's a great mom I think she does she does a fabulous job with him and yet you can see the the frustration in terms of he he needed his power and he'd ball up his little fists and he'd shake his little body like don't do this to me but then he respected her so he you know he allowed her to but just a little shift and and just kind of waiting you know if you got those jackets in your hand when the kid gets cold, they're going to come to you for it. And if you notice they're shivering or shaking, you can say, wow, it looks like you're kind of chilly. And, you know, just notice I've got jackets here. When you're ready for them, just let me know. And most of the kids are pretty good about doing that. And I think that you'll get a much better result if you can empower them with making the choices. So we're having a blast. We're watching the rodeo and he was getting bored and he knew we were going to go do rides afterwards. So he was kind of bugging. He's saying, is it done yet? Is it over yet? And finally, I was getting a little bit frustrated. And I was like, you know what, sweetie? I said, we're going to leave when the rodeo is over, and I'm going to let you know when it's over. So if you decide to, set, to keep asking if it's over yet, we won't go to the rides. So I just I need you to know that I'll let you know when the rodeo is over. And so a couple of times he was almost going to go there, and he looked at me, and I was like, you know, who's going to, who's going to say when it's over? And he pointed at me. So he kind of got the message, like, don't be bugging her. She's not going to handle it. Just chill and have fun. And, you know, we kind of let him run around the bleachers a little bit and stuff. So he's getting his uh, energy out. He needed to be doing that or he'd get too frustrated. Anyway, we ended up having a great time going on the rides and all, all that kind of thing. And I had a few more little circumstances where it's like, okay, dude, you need to chill out and just you know, go with the flow here and we'll have fun. And, uh, and we sure did. I it was, it was just really a treat for me to kind of be back and have it, have a kid to play with again. So for those of you that are in the frustration of having toddlers, enjoy it a little bit because it goes by really quickly. Have a great day. Happy parenting. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. I assume you're here because you're getting something out of these daily pep talks. And wouldn't it be great if more parents could hear more about these ideas for their children? And you can help me in a great way by liking the 
episodes, by sharing them on your social media, and especially by providing a review on your platform of choice. So if you could do me a huge favor and do that, it would really help get this out to many, many, many more parents. And we can all help our children feel more seen, heard, and understood, which is my life's work, is to make sure that all children feel loved and appreciated and that we can discipline them without breaking their spirit. So I hope that you've enjoyed these podcasts and will continue to enjoy them. And I really appreciate any support you can give me here at Positive Parenting Pep Talks. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy parenting. Take that out.